Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sorting my doobie roaches um, because there's a ton of them in the adult thing, ton of new babies, and I haven't checked on, the, on them in a while or cleaned their cage or anything, and I kind of want to sort some of the babies because I only have like two peanut butter jars in there and I think I can fit like three or four. So the first thing is I'm going to go try to get some more peanut butters, peanut butter jars, and then um, I'll get everything out and I'll show you all the things that I use to sort them. Okay, so I have the uh, adult cage here, or the tub here, and I have the um, baby thing here. Then I have a bag of food like that I feed the iguana, and a bag of oats which I feed um, these guys. Then I went and cleaned these four containers and I'll be filling them up probably each with a hundred um, GB roaches just like these two over here and I'll also take out these and recount them so um, I'll be probably taking well I don't know how much time I'll have so um, I probably won't recount them in this video but what I'll probably do is just take just clean this out basically and then another time I will put them into here and resort those just because it's a school night right now <clears throat> And normally I do this when I have like hours to, you know, do whatever I want. So, um, yeah, now I'm going to sort, now I'm going to, uh, get them out of here. So first I clean out any old oats and food. And this whole time I'm just trying to pick up, um, all the baby Debia roaches and putting them into the, uh, baby, ro baby Debia roach thing. I'm also taking out all the, uh, in all these egg crates after um, cleaning them off of the doobie roaches so then I can throw them away and replace them with all new ones and this time I didn't um, clean out all the poop and stuff I just didn't really feel like it now I'm going on to the baby thing and I put a ton of baby doobies on in one of in the baby container and um, I'm cleaning it off and everything and I'm giving them new food and oats just like I did with the adult enclosure. Now I'm gonna get out the iguana just for funsies. I'm holding my iguana in front of you because he is so awesome and fun to hold and um, try to hold him every other day now or close to it. Um, sometimes I don't always get to it that often. He, he puts dirt into the thing. It makes it hard to open. He's not, looks like he's quite warm right now. So, I've gotten, wow, my hair looks terrible. I've gotten really used to holding him at this point, and he can be pretty crazy. I, I have to be honest, it's kind of, it kind of went up and then down. Um, first, it was really easy to hold him and then it's kind of gotten harder um because i think he's more used to like his what he can do while i'm holding him if you know what i mean so um he kind of can be kind of crazy sometimes but i'm pretty good with dealing with it you know what i mean like um i'm not nervous at all if he freaks out i know what to do so um as you can saw that wasn't super smooth and that's he was just pretty warm, but I'm just rubbing his um, dewlap. It's out here. I'll get him all close. He probably won't like the camera. Just rubbing his dewlap. Um, now I'm trying to keep. He he seems like he might want to run if I uh, let him out. So I'm not holding him super tight. I'm just uh, you know keeping my hands on him. Here I might. See what he's gonna do. You can see him. I'm gonna step back so if he's gonna see, he's gonna try to walk up. And he might try to smack me, to be honest. Hello. He, he doesn't like my hand. Going at him. What are you gonna do? Just, it's alright. Shouldn't keep him like this. Now, he has whipped me a few times at this point, but it doesn't hurt, so I don't really care. And he licks a lot, um, to be honest. It's kind of interesting. See, he'll whip me. The thing is, he, so, 
He's crawling under my hands now. What are you gonna do? Sorry. Um, my dog tried to come in, and I really can't have any other animals around him, or he'll really freak out. But, see, he's really comfortable with me, as you can see, like, even comfortable with getting mad at me. <laughs> But before, he he really wouldn't do anything, and now he definitely will. Um, but I think with working with him, he'll eventually get used to me, and it'll be fine. So That's fun. Um, now I'll just put him back, I think. See what he's doing. Now, I think I should probably start feeding him banana. I fed him mango. I didn't film it. I should have. But I think he would definitely, I've tried to feed him banana before he didn't, wasn't really interested in eating. I'm just gonna try to, he's gonna run up my arm for some reason. I don't know. Go in. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> he wants to walk onto me. There you go. As you can see, that was real smooth. He doesn't like me, uh, Closing it because it's kind of loud, but here I'll bring you down here. Hopefully you can see him properly there. See that was real smooth. He'll go crawl up where he wants to go. So um, it's been pretty great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Speaking of the next video, I will probably be doing a video over um, actually sorting the doobie roaches as well. Or, yeah, like counting them rather than sorting them. So, stay tuned for that.